Welcome to our first top 10 list, an organized judging sesh of 2016. Scarlett Johansson. Scar Ho's entire aura reeks of slut. She was hurrying herself out in Vicky Xtina Barcelona, he's just not that into you, Iron Man 2, match point, the list goes on. Her new bathroom. Xtina. We can't actually think of the slutty shit that Xtina's done, except just kind of be slutty, but you don't get your name changed from Christina to Xtina by embodying the perfect Catholic child. Amanda Bynes. We once read this conspiracy theory that Mandy Bynes is shadily a high-priced Hollywood call girl. I mean sure, sounds probable. That would at least explain why she hasn't been in anything. Mary-Kate Olsen. As much as we hate to pass judgment on half of the former Michelle Tanner, there are definitely a few sketchy men in the life of the bitchire Olsen. First of all, do you remember how? Nicki Minaj. The rap field is very male-dominated, yet women are starting to gain more power? While Iggy Azalea is big right now, Nicki Minaj has been in the game a while. While spitting pretty mazed. Audrina Patridge. She's not only played a slut in the Uber hits of already wrong, but has done her fair share of reality brothers from actually agreeing to fuck a guy who refers to himself as Justin Bobby to Kim Kardashian. We don't have any proof of any infidelity or prostitution on Kim K's part, but we know that's because if such evidence existed, Chris Jenner would have it burned in the furnace. Prahana. Sure we just made her bitch of the year 2012, but by no means does that save her from mislabeling her a slut like a week later. When you're the cause of several brawls between several rappers, Taylor Swift. After conquering more celebrities than George Clooney has in a lifetime three times her Taylor's little blonde waves, sundresses and songs about Romeo and Juliet are fooling fucking no one. Hayden Panettiere. When you say Hayden, I say smells like a baby prostitute sleeping with producers, director, makeup artists, alike. Basically, her role on Nashville might be considered a biography, 